there. It's the 1st of March and it's a proper blizzard out there. You can't even, the snow's not picking up very well on the camera but it's, it's quite heavy. You can't see the snow flurries up and down the street either which is kind of cool. It's like a proper blizzard, it's class. Uh, Jack decided to go to school like an idiot. Uh, and Mum decided to go to work. Well, she didn't decide, she didn't really have a choice. Jack did. We're full him. Uh, the buses, I think, are stopping around at like 12. So I have no idea what time either of them's going to be home. But I don't care, because I'm at home and I'm nice and comfortable. <laughs> uh, I was this close to like getting up and going in and then I texted school, or I texted... I Facebooked the group that we're all in on Facebook uh, for school and asked, is tech even open? Like, I do feel well, it probably was still open because it's it's pretty bad up here. It's really bad in the sticks, but the city's so-so. So I asked and then Anne was just like, our teacher, she was just like, Fuck, just stay in bed, you numpties. There's no point kind of thing. Um, so we got the day off because I asked. <laughs> so that was good. I'm sure there are a couple of people who went in, but I wasn't among them. There's more snow for later, and like I said, it's actually still snowing now, so I have no idea if we're even going to be in tomorrow. Life update, uh, I'm still sick. <coughs> I don't know if it's the same sickness or another sickness. I don't even know if you can hear it. This side of my throat is all swollen and sore and tender to the touch. I don't know if I've got like tonsillitis or I can't even pronounce it. It's called viral phalangitis or something like that. The little bits in your throat that go whenever you swallow. Uh, one side of them is all swollen. Um, it hurts all the way up in my ear as well, which is really annoying because I need I need to hear. I don't count. <laughs> uh, my nose is still all stuffy as well. That only started like... Oh, sorry. Yesterday. After I'd gotten better. Um, this throat thing's been going on for... Today's Thursday, isn't it? It's been going on for literally two weeks. I'm not a happy bunny about it. I need to get my nose clean. It's like one in the afternoon. I set my alarm to get up because I knew we were going to be having a snow day. Well, I was going to be having a snow day. I set my alarm to get up at uh, 10 or half 10 even. And I was just put my phone down and was like, all right, I'll get up in like five minutes. And I just rolled over and I was, I was leaving. <laughs> now it's one in the afternoon. But I'm still in my pajamas. Um, dog is still awake. Right, it's a snow day. Bed is the place to be. No idea what I'm going to do today. I, sh I said I was going to work from home, but we, we both know that's not going to happen. So, I might just sit here and watch the snow. Because this is the, the most upbeat I've been for a, quite a few days. Just sitting and enjoying it. Mum has moved this little chair in. It's like a little ribbed plush thing. From the kitchen. Um, It was here originally. Well, I say originally. It, it was supposed to be part of a set in the kitchen. Um... <clears throat> and then she moved it in here for Christmas, I think it was, because we had everybody around and our living room's not big enough for like eight people to sit. Well, no. I was going to <laughs> sit and count the number of seats to bum ratio. Uh, she brought this in just, you know, for people to sit on, um, but no one used it. So it just sort of sat here and started collecting coats and you know, spare bits and bobs that we didn't need but didn't want to take out of the room. So she put it back in there because it was accumulating crap. But she brought it back in again because we're having Nanny's birthday party on Sunday. Um, and obviously there's going to be more people down again. I, <laughs> sorry, I'm just watching my neighbours try and uh, venture outside and none of them are wise. Like, the dude across the street decided to take his bike in this. And it's not even like proper snow anymore, it's like compacted into ice. Like it's really, really, really slippery. And um look at you, Speedy Gonzalez. This is dude like overtaking people as they're walking because he's they're walking too slow. And the the couple that lives across the street on like the diagonal I'm gonna have to go in a second and get a tissue. Uh they're you know, they're not a young couple. They're out in it. <laughs> I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, 
yes, what was I saying? Oh yes, about the chair. Yep, brought it in. Um, I missed it because I would like to sit beside the radiator. Nice and toasty warm and look out the window. I don't know why it's going like that. Um, I usually just sit and watch the rain. It's very relaxing, but obviously today it's snow, so sit and watching the snow. Uh, I'm getting really stuffed up, so I'm gonna go for a little bit. I'll we'll probably be back in a minute. So, like, I turned on the TV just so I could see everybody complain about how it's snow Mageddon outside. Um, but they're not doing that. They're telling about the actual severe problems faced by the elderly in snowy weather. Um, I feel a bit bad now because I wanted to sit and laugh. <laughs> so yeah, I should probably go and check on my grandparents just to make sure they're all right. Um, they have a habit of going out in the snow just for no other reason than fuck you weather. <laughs> they probably literally don't need to go out. Like, I'm a big fan shall we say of home delivery for things like if i could convince my mum to let us get like home delivery for groceries and home delivery for literally everything i would especially considering most of the time it's free here because we live in northern ireland um sorry i cracked a nail last night in bed don't know how um it's free here in northern ireland for stuff that's like northern ireland central if that makes sense because you don't have to like travel a long distance so let's say like you lived in England you lived in London or something and you were getting something delivered to Newcastle the or sorry from Newcastle like the distribution center was in Newcastle for Tesco's or whatever um there's no like massive delivery charge or delivery distance like I think the, what the distribution center for Tesco's for our area at least is Boucher which is like 10 minutes away um on that there's a Tesco's that does uh, click and collect and what's it, the home shopping thing like you see them whizzing around with their wee carts collecting other people shopping it's two minutes away if that two minutes by car so uh, I hate people I think is uh, something I've mentioned on this channel quite a few times I would much prefer to get things delivered to the house especially in weather like this I really wish I could convince my grandparents because they're someone who, uh, people who would actually benefit from it because, you know, they're old and they can't walk around as much as they used to. They get tired, what have you, and they have no patience for anyone. It's not as much as they, they hate people the way I do. Like, I go out and I'm just instantly, they go out with good intentions and then get annoyed really easily um, just by everyone and everything. Particularly Tesco's people who do the tills. <laughs> my my right, this is a legit story. My granny actually wrote a story to Tesco's customer services thing, whatever customer care, complaining that the till lady scanned her shopping too quickly. I kid you not. Uh, my my grand said she was feeling very stressed because the lady kept pushing things towards her when she didn't have time to bag it. Uh, <laughs> me and my mum just both had a laugh about that. Well, that's not even us, it's England. <clears throat> I really wish they'd bring back um, BBC News just on BBC Two for Northern Ireland. Because having to wait for Newsline and seeing all these English people struggle, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not in England. I'm so happy to be in. I have my Kingdom Hearts blanket as well, which is nice. I have no idea. There's Donald. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making such long vlogs today. Uh, Maybe just because I haven't had a chance to do it. And I'm trying to like exercise my throat and my voice so I don't lose it. <laughs> it is properly painful. Like even just touching hurts. At least I've got the fish for company. They don't mind me vlogging. They've been quite sick. I think I mentioned one of them had fin rot. Um, he's doing a lot better. This is the... I put some extra medicine in the tank yesterday after a wee water change. They seem fine now. Uh, the water's nice and clear as well, which is good. Uh, it means good water quality, happy fish. So, I should probably feed them. The top of the water was something warm. Like, I know they're fresh water. <coughs> Sorry. I know they're. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I know they're freshwater fish uh, and they can tolerate the cold, but I don't want to make them uncomfortable. Like, they, they do tend to be happier. With the water like around 18 20 degrees um i think it's only like 16 or 14 14 to 16 degrees sorry i said that the proper way in the tank right now they seem a wee bit sluggish but nothing severe 
Or maybe just scoop out some water, put some warm water in for now. I don't want to keep hassling them though because they don't like the bottle. Okay, Itachi doesn't like the bottle that I used to scoop the water out, but Kisame, there is no fear in him, literally. He's, no matter what you put in the tank, he's up pecking at it. He's eating my finger, he's pecking at the bottle. He's like, no, 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 don't peck at the bottle. I don't want you to eat the glue. So I don't know. I could we just bring a hot water bottle in and set it next to the tank? That might work. I don't know, I'll go and sort them out and maybe come back later. So like, I decided to play Kingdom Hearts for a little bit, just on the mobile version on my phone, just so I could sit here and watch the snow. Um, and there's a new quest for Final Fantasy Record Keeper, and you have to fight what I think is Kefka in god form from Final Fantasy VI. Um, and it was like, advertising this quest, like, super difficult, mega hard, expert only, level 2000, which is currently the strongest boss in the game, or the, at least the highest level boss in the game. So I thought, right, okay, I've been really itching for something to play in this game, because there hasn't been much content this last couple of weeks. Um, and I thought, this will keep me going for a good long while, you know, having to swap medals out, like, keep giving it another go, I'm sure I can do it. Uh, did it the first go. Died once. Had my HP recovery thing going, so momentary setback. I need something new to play. I'm still bored. I'm still kind of sort of playing Assassin's Creed 4, but I'm mostly just doing it for giggles and for shipboarding to upgrade the jackdaw. Like, I haven't done the last quest, and I'm probably not going to for a while, because I absolutely hate it. I hate Bartholomew Roberts. I know he's just like a... Well, I know Black Bart was like a real pirate, I think, wasn't he? Blackbird, real I know the character that they've created is just a fictional character, like the sage never existed, the character of Bartholomew Roberts as in Assassin's Creed never existed, but he's just so annoying. Also, how is it that I can hate his accent, right, but I can love Edwards? They're both from Wales, they both have really thick Welsh accents. Maybe it's just because I hate him, I just hate everything about him, but love Edward, anyway. Um, I'm not playing that for a while. I was going to be playing Dishonored, but I have no idea where it is. Um, I should probably be doing coursework. I think it's like, uh, it's two o'clock. I've been up for an hour and I've just sat here on my arse watching the snow get progressively worse. Uh, I did watch the news. Barra Best was on. He didn't make any jokes. I was slightly disappointed. Uh, he did say, however, that uh, quote unquote Storm Emma is coming. So the snow's supposed to get worse and we have to keep watch on Facebook, according to Anne, to see if we're actually in tomorrow. Uh, I can't see it happening, not with the snow and not if it's to get worse. Like, if it's bad today, it's going to be worse tomorrow. Uh, but that does raise the question of if we'll be able to get into time. Um, my dad's uncle, named Frank, passed away rather suddenly. Um, none of us were expecting it. But his funeral was on, I want to say Tuesday, and today's Thursday. Uh, so his... I think they're his kids. I'm not 100% certain. It would be my dad's cousins, so yeah, it would be his kids. Um, they were over from Canada. Uh, obviously, it snowed to make them feel welcome. So they've been itching to meet me and Jack because I don't think, they've, to the best of my memory, we've never met them. Um, they really want to meet us, so we agreed to go to White's Tavern for lunch tomorrow. But if everywhere is closed and all the transport's off... Um, I don't know what's happening. I actually honestly can't see them getting away on Saturday because they're to go from City Airport. Uh, that's the only place that goes direct to Canada. Or maybe, does it do to London and then Canada? International doesn't do to Canada, I don't think. A city does it. So all the planes, trains and buses are delayed. Uh, particularly anything going to the south. So if we fly to Dublin first or to London. There's no way they're getting home. They're gonna wind up stranded in Dublin, stranded in Dublin or stranded in London. Um, the weather's just atrocious there, apparently. Uh, we have a yellow warning and everything's grown to a halt, but Dublin and... Is it the Midlands? I don't think it's as far south as London, although there's like a gap and then another red warning. Dublin has a red warning. Uh, the Midlands, I think, has a red warning, and then there's like a gap, and then another red warning further south. So, they picked a bad time to come over. Um, but yeah, we're supposed to be meeting them tomorrow. Um, whether or not I'm sick, I'm still going to go, because I said I would. I refuse to go to Dad's 
dad my granddad's birthday party because there was just too many people that I didn't know. Um, it's not that I have anything against my dad's side of the family. I'm just, I'm not good with crowds and I'm not good with strangers. And my grandmother's house is very small. Like, <clears throat> even at Christmas with the five of us, them, uh, me, my dad and my brother. So that's five people. It's just too much in the wee tiny house. It feels very cramped. Um, trying to manoeuvre around one another to get to the table and to get through the door and into the kitchen and even in and out of the or up and down the stairs it's just it's too tiny and then according to dad there was going to be like up to 15 people there I think so it was like all of our relatives and it would it was just too much I wasn't having it if they had a, like booked a hall or something um perchance I might have gone uh, I, I doubt it because again not good with strangers but yeah so uh, having not done that I felt a bit guilty so I'm, I said I would definitely make the effort to go and meet them um, there's only three of them and dad's gonna be there and we're getting free lunch and dad has to go back to work for two so it should be fine uh, we'll only be there for like an hour and I need to do some shopping um, uh, I've definitely talked about this before. Uh, the bathroom's still messed up. Mum did manage to get the shower fixed. The guy that's doing our new bathroom. Hold on, I'm just going to change the channel because I hate this show. Um, the guy that did our is doing our bathroom even uh, from HHI. He gave Mum a free shower hose, which seemed to fix the problem. Um, not totally, but the shower is working mostly again um, without copious amounts of duct tape. Uh, it wasn't working the other day because of the low pressure but it does that every now and again. Mum was convinced it was completely jacked like beyond repair um, but it does that every now and again. If I had a, seen the wee flickery warning I could have told her that instead of worrying her. Uh, you think there would be more on TV this time of day for like unemployed people <laughs> but there's not. Um, so yeah. That's the plan for tomorrow, hopefully go and meet them and then do a bit of shopping. Uh, if the shower is still jacked, um, I'd like some bath bombs just to make the most of the bath. I have I actually ordered some stuff from Lush. It arrived yesterday. I got a milk bar. Still really want to do that favourites video, but it's in the March now and I've sort of missed my chance. Um, I got a bar of Milky Bar soap which is like the milky bar uh bath bubble bar but it's not quite as scented um the scent kind of wears off pretty quick but it, it's a nice smell so i don't really mind and it was only like 225 for a massive bar it was like this size in comparison um so that was fine i also got one of the i managed to get my hands on a halloween exclusive even though it's nearly easter uh the lord of misrael shower gel i they might be bringing that into like a uh, permanent thing on the website. I don't know. I really hope so because I actually smelt it again whenever I got it. Um, and I, it's really grown on me. I really like it. I haven't used it in the shower yet, but just like taking a smell of it out of the bottle. It smelled much better than it did in the store. And I also got an Easter exclusive. It's, I think it's called Wash Behind Your Ears. It's the little bunny shampoo bar. It smells really, really, really lemony and citrusy. It's very like... I thought the... Something other Morinego or Montenegro or, or no. There's this yellow bar, shampoo bar um, with like a slice of orange or lemon in it. It smells quite citrusy. It put me in mind of refreshers, but this one smells exactly like refreshers. Um, it's really good. I will be using that shortly. My hair has been fine. Uh, it needs dyed again, as I'm sure you can see the purples. And I lost its vibrancy. I'm going to maybe try and get mum to help me with that on Saturday and also maybe curl my hair for the party on Sunday. But uh, it's been really itchy. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because I've just been using the one shampoo bar uh, for quite a few weeks and I've been having to get like sink baths and showers because obviously the shower packed in before we got the hose. Um, so it maybe wasn't washing it properly. I don't put product in my hair so it can't be like product build up. I don't know what's going on with it, it's just a bit itchy, so this shampoo bar that I got has uh, apple cider vinegar in it, which is supposed to be A, really good for your hair, and B, really good for your scalp, so I'm kind of hoping that'll sort it out. Uh, time would have been, I would have used a Roots Minty Treatment, 
uh, that would do your hair and your scalp pretty much uh, and it would help a lot or there was a shampoo bar that I really wanted to get it was like medicated from Lush uh, but they stopped doing it a long time ago and um, they also had something called Dr. Hair Care I think uh, that again was supposed to soothe your scalp but they stopped doing that and then the two that I got that I had to send back the Copperhead and Lullaby uh, Lullaby is lavender it's supposed to help relax you and it it does for me like I don't really usually subscribe to aromatherapy but lavender really does help me so I had hoped those might have helped the cheese or you know just kind of calm my scalp down a bit but I had to send them back yeah <clears throat> uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I think I've made a grand total of about 40 minutes of video today. Seriously, I'm gonna have to like crop it down or maybe I will just stick it all up to hell with it. My channel. But all of it's just been me sitting here having a chat with yous. I'm not intent on moving. <laughs> I said I was gonna do schoolwork but I'm not. I might try and get After Effects loaded up on my computer because um, since I wiped it, uh, it would have been just before Christmas. It's been running much better, but it hasn't uh, hasn't got half the programs that I need. I managed to get Maya reinstalled. Uh, I got uh, Epic Games reinstalled, which was good. Unity, because apparently I didn't learn my lesson the first fucking time. Uh, but After Effects is something that you need like code for and everything, so I I just had to suffer with like that. But now we're doing our characters, and all my characters are two D and they're vector based, so I can like. Just move the wee pinpoints for the pen around to animate them, which is going to make things 10 million times easier than, you know, drawing them in raster. Is it, no, no, it is vector. Vector's the, the number based one. I learned this shit like, I don't know, when was I in high school? Four years ago? I think I learned this stuff between four to six years ago. And I, it's just stuck with me. It's like one of the only things that stuck with me <laughs> from high school. I was having this discussion. I'll say this and then I'll go. I was having this discussion yesterday with Thomas and Sarah. I don't remember anyone or anything from high school at all. The only reason I know uh, Dylan and Patrick, who are in my class now, they were from high school. The only reason I know them is because they're in my class now. Don't remember anybody else. Don't want to. So, uh, yeah. People's faces, friends that I potentially possibly had in high school, all gone. Knowing the difference between vector and raster based graphics, stuck in there like glue. All good. I need to stop watching The Simpsons. I've seen every single one of them like 10 million times. Okay, I'm gonna go for realsies now. Um, possibly load up my computer. Possibly just sit here and enjoy the snow till it goes off. It's getting really quite heavy. It's blowing a gale outside and it's gorgeous. See you later.